Hey friends, I'm Ashley and welcome to Ash's Cozy Corner. We have finally been blessed with a demo for Sally, a game that's been on my radar for so long. This is one of the very first games I made a video on back when I started my YouTube channel in 2023. So it is so cool to finally be able to play this game. Sally is a life sim that has a focus on community and also exploration as you get to travel to different islands and explore all around with your crewmates. My friend Natalia played the demo and said it was fairly short, so I'm going to explore around as much as I can just to make it a little bit longer. Let's dive into Sally. Okay, so I don't know if you have to randomize your character on the screen or if you get to actually customize your character since this is a demo. Let's just, let's randomize over here until, she's cute. She's kind of cute. I like the braids. Watch me never get that again. <laughs> let's keep going. Do, do, do. Also cute. Can I not turn them around? Let's keep cut randomizing. Watch me be able to customize my character when I click start demo instead of doing it over here. Okay, she's cute. She's cute. She has brown hair, has the bun. Let's just go with her. Let's start the demo. Welcome aboard the Sally. Sally is a life simulation game with emergent interactions made by a small indie team. It is planned for early release in quarter four of 2025. Please note that this demo is a limited preview of what's to come and does not reflect the quality of the final product. It is an incomplete build meant to share a small part of Sally with the world while testing out some features in their early stages. Um, and then talks about bugs. Thank you for understanding, Traveler. We hope you enjoy your journey. Oh, cannot wait. I'm so excited. I know that if there's any lag in the gameplay at all, just know that it's possibly my computer. My computer sounds like it's going to explode. So... <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame the game if you see lag. Blame my computer. It's not handling it well at all. I'm also playing with a controller. I'm not playing with a keyboard because I never play anything with a keyboard. I'm just not good at it at all. The surroundings though, like for a ship, I feel like this ship is going to be absolutely huge in the full game and I cannot wait to experience it. And the sound effects, the little birds. Let's investigate. The fresh air feels nice from Sally's balcony. Oh wait, what are those little, I just got little two plus Plus, two plus for investigating that. So pretty, look. Okay, let's go talk to her. But these love the crystals. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna spend so much time exploring. Okay, that's cool. I bet we can use this in the full game. <gasps> Will we be able to drive the ship in the full game? Like straight up, like a mini game or something? Oh, let's investigate this one. Captain Chair has been repaired with a patch, just like Beatrix's, Beatrix's, Beatrice. I'm terrible at names. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Oh, I can jump. Cute. Like that. Let's go talk to Beatrix. Let's see what she says. Welcome aboard the Sally, kiddo. We're so glad to have you here. I'm Beatrix, and you can come talk to me anytime if you need help. Have fun discovering the ship and meeting your crewmates, but don't try to explore blocked areas, okay? The Sally's under construction. Gotta stay safe. If you want to help around here, I know Alice could use a hand. She's by the broken portal in the dining room up the stairs. Accept this quest. Find Alice. Talk to Alice. That's like that Bible verse that says, if you want wisdom or wisdom is good, get wisdom. <laughs> oh, I thought I was dropping off the edge. Anytime I see anything like that, it reminds me of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Probably more so Tears of the Kingdom, I guess because you could build so much stuff with Tears of the Kingdom. But that sound effect and those cogs every single time, Tears of the Kingdom. Let's go see if I can, ooh, are these? Lit up. Fires a log. Oh, that's the sawmill. Select costs. Melt metals. Oh, okay. And then you have to use the lever. So you actually have to do the stuff. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I can add stuff. <gasps> Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's add three gold ore. Add the metals. I don't know if I'm supposed to mix coal into this or not. Uh, select the cast. Um, rod, sheet, and then pull the lever. We're gonna make a gold ingot on the demo. Oh, you actually have to do like every step. This is interesting. Once the cast is cooled down, collect your item. Okay, how long does it take you to, oh, okay. <gasps> Look at that. Uh, I have gold. Huh. Let's talk to you. Oh, no, you're busy. Oh, no, come here. No, stop, 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 talk to me. She is working. Talk to me. Hey, ma'am. Thank you. No. <laughs> Come on. I can do it. I'm trying to get the open. Come on. Ah! 
<laughs> I just want to talk to her. You're not busy. You're just looking. You're just staring. Somebody talk to me. Thank you. What's the password? Just kidding. I can probably help. What did you want to know? Wait, the girl I was trying to talk to just ran away. <laughs> I'd ask for your help with something, but I have it all figured out anyway. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Let's talk to you again. Um, let's see. What should I do? What are you doing? What's on your mind? Um, what's on your mind? I finished my sweater. It's green with orange pumpkins. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of fall. Fall is such a great season. I love it. I'm gonna run away from them. We're not important. Can I? Okay, can't use it yet. Darn, are you busy? Oh my gosh, what? Some of these people are rude. She's like, make it quick. <laughs> What should I do? Um, ask Alice if you want some inspiration. She always knows what needs to be what needs to be done. What are you doing? I want to saw a plane. Not interested. Leaving. I love that the ship has greenery. Like there's just greenery everywhere. Not that way. This way to the machine room. Okay, I'm glad that there's signs. Is there a map in this game? Let's find. Okay, this is the kitchen. I cannot wait to cook something. I'm gonna go talk to Alice first though. I'm getting distracted. Let me talk to her. This is the portal that's broken. Definitely looks broken. So in Sally, all of the characters, when you start a new game, they will be different. I don't know if they have different names and all that. I'm guessing that they would. <gasps> She's my twin. Hello. Hello. I have a twin in the game. <laughs> Not me noticing until like five minutes in. Hello. <laughs> Let me talk to you. But anyway, in Sally, um, all of the characters are generated. So every new playthrough that you play, there will be a new cast of crewmates. So that's really fun. And I can't wait to see how much like more replayability you have with Sally because of that fact. And every single new playthrough, they will have new personalities. They'll look different, everything. So I'm excited to see how that is in the full game. So her name is M Mki. Mki. I'm just going to stop trying to say names. Nice to meet you. What did you want to talk about? Like you don't notice that we're twins, ma'am? Alice was looking for volunteers earlier. I think she has a list of tasks in mind. You should go see her. Also, I don't know if you heard that, but they do have a language similar to like the Sims. So it's like Simlish, but it'll be Sally-lish. <laughs> Hello, child. It's so nice to see you. I'm Alice. I hear you're here to help. I said that weird. Our magic portal is in a poor state. We can repair it, but we're missing some materials. The doors have to be patched up with wooden planks, an iron rod, and a gold sheet. Not me already using the gold down there. I hope there was more. I think there was more. I don't know how much it takes to make a gold sheet, though. Uh, I was just informed that someone misplaced the portal's dial hand. It must be somewhere on the ship. We'll need to find it. Beatrix must eat a hearty meal before she even starts working. This isn't a task to do on an empty stomach. Me! For real! I literally had to eat a huge blueberry muffin before I filmed this, and that was, like, after I'd had breakfast this morning. I'm always freaking eating. And I'm afraid I'm all out of spellcasting potions. I'll need one to restore the portal's magic. Okay, she needs a lot of stuff. She needs a lot of stuff. I hope there's a way to remember all this. What would you like to do? You can choose a task and I'll ask the crewmates to help with the others. Oh, awesome. It's time to work together and fix the portal. So I'm not that overwhelmed. I get to pick something. I want to cook a meal because... I'm so excited to see how you do that in Sally. The cooking is supposed to be really cool. Let's cook the meal. So we have to cook a meal for Beatrix, read the recipe book, cook the meal, bring a meal, and then report back to Alice to tell them the good news that we fed somebody and they are now available to work. I want to become stronger, so I'll head to the sawmill to make some planks. Cool. I've been meaning to get better at my artisan skills. I did not. I keep clicking A and skipping stuff, not meaning to. Ugh. I'm not a bad moon weaver myself. I'll make the potion. Moon weaver? Why do they look sad when they say this though? That's my twin. I'll take the dial tasks. I'm sure I can find it. Exploring the ship is always fun. I love that I have a freaking twin. That's amazing. So I have to go read the recipe book. I'm guessing it's back. Oh, back here. I can just go this way. Back in the kitchen. Look at me doing the closest thing. Um, you can use the left trigger to sprint as long as you have stamina. Let's see if it works. It's like Breath of the Wild, the little stamina wheel. I don't know where... Oh, is this the recipe book? This is the cookbook. Okay, okay. So we're going to make carrot soup, I'm guessing. Does she need something specific? I don't think so. Basic stew, cream of mushroom. I don't think she said anything specific. So we're going to do whichever one. Actually, wait. Let's do one that takes more stuff to do. So this one you have to cut. Sorry, trying to figure out the way to scroll down on the chili. Okay, maybe we're not making the chili because I can't figure out how to scroll on this thing with the controller. Nothing is working. <laughs> 
Okay, let's just do this one. No, let's do the basic stew because I can actually see everything you have to do on it. So we need umami vegetable and bag of wheat flour from the ice box. So umami vegetable and wheat flour. Jumping on accident. Bag of wheat flour. Um, umami. Where is it at? Where is it at? I don't see umami. I do not see umami. What is umami? Not me looking up what the freaking, look at my character. <laughs> she was dancing, how cute. Not me looking up what umami is because I was looking for something that literally said umami. Look at me dancing. Umami is apparently, you're gonna learn with me today. Some foods that are high in umami compounds are seafood, meats, aged cheeses, seaweed, sea seaweed, seaweed, soy foods, mushrooms, tomatoes, kimchi, and green tea. Let's see what we need one more time. We're gonna do the basic stew. So I need a vegetable, bag of wheat flour, and umami. I have the bag of wheat flour. Let's use a carrot. And then we can use any kind of meat, aged cheeses, mushroom. Let's use a mushroom. So now we have what we need <laughs> to make the veggie soup with umami. That is not a food. It's a bunch of different foods. Who knew? Not me. <laughs> Okay, select the ingredients you want to add. So I'm gonna add the wheat flour, the carrot, and the chanterelle. We're gonna stir. I love that it shows you doing the actual act of it. Okay, wait, oh, that is not. Oh, I was supposed to chop up the carrot. Oh no, go back, go back. I was supposed to cut both the carrot and the mushrooms on the cutting board. Hopefully they're still in there. Okay, they are, it reset. So we're gonna get carrot, wheat flour, and that again, let's go to the cutting board this time and actually do what I'm supposed to do, Ashley, geez. Um, this one and this one, start cutting. Cut the ingredient by repeatedly pressing down on the left joystick. Oh, I was clicking in. How cute is this? I love. Okay, cut next item. Listen at that. Okay, I think that is Fabulous. Now let's try to cook. <laughs> and it even shows it cut. That's a nice, nice touch. Now we can actually make what I'm supposed to be making. That wasn't hard at all, but I love the fact that you can do every single step in the cooking. Let's go take this to Beatrix upstairs. This is the way, no, yes, I am upstairs. She's downstairs, that's right. Look how beautiful. Screaming, crying, throwing up. Okay, talk with you. I'm feeding you. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. I made you a meal. Aren't you a deer? What did you cook for me? Uh, I made you stew. Trying to get on my good side, are you? You don't need to win me over. I already like you. Thanks for the meal. It looks great. You're welcome. Who are you? Let's talk to you. So we're doing this. Okay, hello. Rude. So I didn't realize that a lot of people are actually like that in real life. I'm such a people person. So I don't care to like make conversation with people in public and like all that stuff. But according to Twitter, people don't like making conversation with strangers in public. And I'm like, this is news to me. I love it. <laughs> but this person was like, okay, go tell Alice. Don't want to talk to you. <laughs> that place is blocked. <gasps> what is this? Can I look into the sky? Okay, no, I can't. Rip. Hopefully you can in the full game because that would be really cool to be able to use the constellations. <gasps> I wonder if that's how you do the skill tree. That would be cool. Great job completing your task. Thanks to everyone's hard work. We'll be able to get on with the repairs. Stand back. <gasps> the portal is fixed. At last, our portal was fixed. You can use it to visit a floating island. Come back to see me once you're done exploring. I'd like to know about your journey. Are we ready? Do you want to go with me? Can I invite oh, you? You yes, again? You Hi. Me? Did you want something? Um, I'll be oh. leaving. Let's open and go on our first adventure. Apparently the demo does end after you come back from this adventure. So we're going to try to explore as much as we can. At least I do have like a little soup. <laughs> Oh, you can get seeds. Okay. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Hello. There's so many seeds. I didn't even know I freaking had a hoe in my pocket. <laughs> Let's plant some of these. Plant carrots. These are some big tilled 
squares. Okay, I just planted cabbage on accident. No, I didn't. What did I do? Can I water? Oh, it does need water. Hello. Okay, so I wonder if these crops actually grow this fast or if it's just part of the demo that's letting me grow stuff just a little bit faster to see like the crops when they grow. Because if so, these are growing incredibly fast. The cabbage is done. And then the carrots, the carrots are done now too. I think the only thing we have left is the onions. A tasty carrot freshly harvested from the earth. So you can straight up eat it as soon as you pick it. Dirt and all. Dirt and all. I think that's a potato. Did get a potato. And then let me water this one one more time so we can pick it. So I can have picked the entire garden. I should have daggone planted that like No! Stop! <laughs> I should have daggone planted that last seed. Let's throw it back. Throw. Are you gonna grow? There we go. This island that I'm on is real cute. It looks like I have a little Navi with me. Where'd she go? She left. Let's get some ore. Oh my gosh. Do you know what that reminded me of? The other day I found, I gotta throw some stuff. Let's eat it. I'm not gonna lie. That's a little weird to use for eating stuff, the button specifically, but I'll go with it. I'll go with it. I feel like I'm gonna accidentally click it a bunch. Oh, every iron ore is literally one inventory space. That is a lot. We're gonna have to not get all the iron because that, I feel like they should stack. It's a little weird that they don't stack. I wonder if I'm gonna see any animals on this island. Anything in there? No. Oh, is this, <gasps> the island isn't very big. Can I fish? Do I have a fishing rod? Can I jump out on the leaf pad? Leaf pads, <laughs> lily pads. Nope, I can't. I feel like there should be chests in here. Again, Tears of the Kingdom vibes. I just feel like there needs to be chests anywhere there's a, an, a building like this. We can go up it though. <gasps> Ooh, okay, let's throw something. No, let's eat something. Let's eat the cabbage. Eat it, eat the carrot too. We don't need energy. What is this? Mysterious scroll. Let's scroll over. A dusty old scroll. Can I put it in there? Let's look in the waters. There seems to be memories of the past present here. I never thought thoughts could live on. What else can crystals do? Perhaps a better Moonweaver will be able to make sense of it all in the distant future. Then it will have all been worth it. Ask about the ruins. Time goes on and nature retakes what is hers. As my grand castle becomes the simplest tower, I only wish for my research to be discovered. <gasps> what kind of story are we gonna have in this game? That's so interesting. Now I wanna know more. I don't wanna have to wait until quarter four of 2025 to know. <laughs> gonna keep me up. It's gonna haunt my dreams. It's gonna keep me up at night. Look at the Sally over there though. Look how beautiful it is. It's so pretty over there. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else I can do with that. I don't know what I- oh! You can fall. Let's see if I can jump off the building. Let's jump off this side. Oh! <laughs> I wonder if we'll have health and stamina too. Let's get these magic crystals. Can I put a magic crystal in the in the waters? Let's go and test this. No. Okay. Can I throw it in there? We're just gonna leave that be. It is so beautiful on this island though. Oh, there's more over here. That's gold ore. More gardening areas. Yeah, so gold and iron. In the full game as well, I'm pretty sure. Don't take my word for it. I'm pretty sure that every island will also be generated. So every playthrough will also have different islands. All of them will be generated. So you'll also get all different islands on a different playthrough as well. Should I talk to you yet or should I explore just a little more? Okay, so you can do all of this. I wanna go brew a magic potion. I wonder where we do this at. You have to find all the ingredients. Okay, it's down there. Can you go in these doors? No. Whoop. <laughs> to brew a spellcasting potion, one must break a crystal in a cauldron which contains one fungi, one vegetal, one vegetal, and one ore. Are they over here? So, they are. Oh, you can't grab those. I have an ore. I have a vegetable. I don't have a fungi. Let's use the magic crystal, not those. I'm going back to the fridge to get a mushroom. Good thing they're like right beside of each other. <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> Oh, you can put stuff in the fridge. Okay. You can put iron ore. <laughs> you can put iron ore in the fridge. There we go. Um, oh, it's full. So I just need a mushroom. That's all I needed. No, I needed a vegetable. Give me back that potato. Now we can go make the potion. I wonder what this potion is going to do with a mushroom and a vegetable. Let's add the ingredients. Magic crystal, mushroom, 
Oh, I don't have a plant. Oh wait, yes I do. It's the potato. Let's brew this. Let's see what I brew. When the potion is brewed for long enough, collect it by pouring it in into the pot. Okay, pour potion. The fact that it has all of the steps that you actually have to do is really cool in my opinion. I know some people might get tired of it after a while. I wonder if there is a way to like fast track it after so long in the game, but even if not, I love that part about it. I think it's so cool. I found a scroll on the island, ma'am. Fascinating find. This looks like it was part of an ancient grimoire. Grimoire? Grimoire? What am I saying? <laughs> I'll hold on to it for now and we can put it in the library once the renovations are finished. Did you want to go back out there or are you done exploring? Holy moly, can I stop clicking buttons before I read? <laughs> I knew it was gonna end after I did that. Hello, I did not mean to click the button. Nature speaks to your ranger. If you choose to listen, crewmates and animals alike will be more inclined to offer you their trust. Under your care, plants will grow with ease and harvests will be bountiful. Your crew will come to you for ingredients of greater quality to use in their meals and potions. The Sally's artisans will also be thankful for your support in letting them hone their skills. As the steward of their primary resources, wood and ore, you will make sure they have access to a great supply of resources and the peace of mind that the island's ecosystems keep thriving. Your journey is just beginning and yours to nurture. Um, wish list? Already on my wish list. If you all are interested in Sally at all, please consider go wish listing. I will put the link in the description below. It helps the devs out so much and it's so easy to do. So if you want to help the devs out, please go give it a wish list. Um, you can continue your adventure. You can go back to playing or you can sail with a new crew. So that's like what I was saying before, like every single time you restart the game completely, you will have a completely new crew with new people other than I think the two main characters, which is Beatrix and Alex, they do not change. They stay the same. Let's continue the adventure just for a second and see if there's anything else to see. I know a lot of it is probably closed off because it is a demo, but I just wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. So that's down there. We've already seen everything down there. We can't go up the ship anymore. We've been in the kitchen. That's the portal. And then down here is that room. So I guess there isn't anything else we can see at the moment. It was just letting us test out some of the cool qualities of the game, like the cooking where you have to do every step. And then also like the potion making, also have to do every step. Let's talk to her one more time and then we will end this. Hey there kiddo, need anything? Do you have different tasks? Okay, no, she has the same tasks. Okay, I think we are done. So overall, that was a really cute demo. I know it was short. Overall, I think it gave us just a really cool glimpse inside of the game. And I feel like it really will help the developers and it will help the fans get to give them their feedback like really early on so hopefully if things need change they can go ahead and start on that honestly I thought it was really cute I wish I could have did my character at the beginning but my character looks really cute how she is and I had a twin the battery in my camera died so I had to change that real fast and I paused the game to come back and do my final thoughts and then I see this. So I guess these are your levels. So there's general, explorer, artisan, moonweaver, and ranger. We got a lot of explorer. I guess that's just going around investigating things. The artisan is making things with the machines and maybe even no okay so artisan would be just making things with the machines the moon weaver is the potion making and the ranger would be gardening foraging mining it's just my guess i don't know that for sure but that's really cool i don't know what general is because i didn't get a single thing in general and I don't know how. Maybe it's not in the demo. Okay, final thoughts on Sally. I think personally that I'm really gonna like this game. Just from the little bit that we got to experience, I do think it will be different from other cozy games. I've mentioned before that I feel like a lot of cozy games are kind of blending in. So I feel like this one will be different with being on a ship and exploring the different islands and then also the way you cook and craft the potions and craft the iron bars and like all of that stuff. That is really interesting to me. So I really think this will be an amazing game. Even with just the 30 minute demo that we had or whatever it was, 30 minutes, an hour. I think it will be really fun when the full game comes out. The only thing that I am worried about right now is the characters. I know that it focuses a lot on community and I know that each character will have their different interests and abilities and all of that kind of thing, but I'm 
curious to know how the dialogue will be because the dialogue was kind of very just generic dialogue. So maybe that's one thing that I would say if I had to have feedback for the game. The crafting, everything was really cool. The exploring was cool. The islands were cool. But I would like to see dialogue from the characters that actually mean something and makes you feel more connected to the characters. And I feel like that may be a little bit harder because of the fact that they are generated characters and that they'll look different and have different personalities and like you can't have that specific care for a specific character like you could in like Stardew Valley with say Sebastian or Elliot or Abigail or any of the people you feel close to in specific games that might be a little harder because the fact that the characters change and the dialogue will not be very I don't know that was just like a little mind rant there that's my only thing that I'm a little bit worried about but I played Fae Farm. Fae Farm was like that. Fae Farm had a lot of, like, the characters were always the same, but they didn't have good dialogue. So I just, I didn't even get attached to any of the characters in Fae Farm. So it's fine. I loved Fae Farm. Even if Sally doesn't have great dialogue and stuff like that, I will still play it. Hopefully I will still love it. But overall, I definitely think you should try Sally's demo. It's only like 30 minutes long and it is fun getting to see the crafting and the ship, which is absolutely beautiful beautiful. So definitely go give it a try and let me know what you think about Sally down in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a cozy day and God bless.